Greetings and salutations, my name is Domingo Martinez and today I'm going to show you how to control a robotic hand. So in various Arduino robotic hand projects what you'll find is each individual finger on this robotic hand is controlled by servo motors. So we can actually create a robotic hand with a glove and in that glove you'll attach some flex sensors and so that way when you extend or contract your finger it's actually going to actuate the servo and the servo then is going to rotate an individual finger on your robotic arm. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do today. So within Tinkercad what we can do is we can take out a few sensors, a few flex sensors and connect them in this schematic as shown here and we're going to go ahead and control or actuate each individual servo based on the data coming from our flex sensor. So let me go ahead and do this in text programming first. And what I want to do is include our servo library. And I'm going to go ahead and create some servo variables that correspond to our actual finger. So within void setup, you can go ahead and attach those. And so I'm going to attach them based on the schematic that's shown below or that's shown here. So you'll see that your servo motors are connected to 11, pin 11, 10, 6, 5, and 3. And let's go ahead and include the servo library so that way we can view the data that's coming from our flex sensor. Alright, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and create uh, some variables that correspond to the uh, information or that's going to store the information that comes from our flex sensor. So it's going to be an integer variable and we can just name it something that um, is similar to the actual finger itself. So I'm going to just go with thumb pass for sensor. And you'll notice that each individual sensor, each flex sensor is attached to your analog pins over here, A0 through A4. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for all flex sensors. And we're just going to go ahead and print out uh, the values for one flex sensor and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing or assume that all values are going to be consistent for all flex sensors. So serial dot, serial dot print ln for the first flex sensor, which is going to be our thumb. And let's put a delay of 10 microseconds in there so that way we can allow for better simulation. All right, so as you can see, when I contract with this flex sensor, the minimal value is gonna be 59. Your maximum value is gonna be 256. So with that said, we can map that data to correspond to our, um, our servo motor here. So to do that, we're just gonna use the map function within Arduino. So the exact same variable is now going to be mapped. So the minimal value is 59, the max value is 256. And that's going to correspond to a value of 0 all the way to 180 degrees. So this is the min value for your servo, the max value for your servo, min value for your sensor, flex sensor, max value for your flex sensor. Alright, so now we can actually rotate our servo motor based on these new uh, values, these scaled down values. So, so 
So the thumb, the servo motor that represents your thumb is going to be rotated based on the values for your flex sensor that represents your thumb. Alright, so when I start my simulation, as I contract each individual flex sensor, then I should be able to rotate the corresponding servo motor. And it looks like that is exactly what it's doing. So there you go. Now you know how to control a robotic hand with flex sensors that would be attached to, let's say, a glove, for instance. Alright, I hope this, hope this helps. Thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe.